and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where today we are starting off winter right with the birth of a new baby bison. We also are going to skip growing most of our plants this season. We are going to go and check on some of our summer crops um, that we have growing in the jungle. But that's about it. And we have that baby bison now, which is fantastic. Oh, look, he's so cute. So cute and so small. All right. So we have a new baby that we have to play the flute for. And that's okay, because it's the start of a new week. Let's say hi to Lily and Shadow, of course. And let's start by calling over our ever so sweet little Esther. Um, now we are going to put some fish into here. Because, frankly, we can. And then we're going to make up some lovely lovely pickles because honestly we kind of desperately need to do this and we're going to need quite a bit of vinegar today Okay, so we've got five and four. So I need you and one of you. Sure. All right. So that's all of those going. Then I need, how did I end up with extra, oh, whatever, whatever, it's fine. Um, let's go ahead and pull that out. Let's go ahead, we don't have any ferment, so let's pull out the wine as well. Okay, and that can go back in there, pop this open. Why do I have beer? Okay, I have beer. That's fine. Um, let's go down to four there. Okay. And then, the last of everything over here. Perfect. Put away my wine. And then we have these four bits of amaranth. This, this ground is going to get awful if I don't throw something on it, but I'm just not going to bother. Okay. Let's go ahead and play our flute. And then we need to chat with the baby and the horses. And river. And our little fiber bore here. We also need to take a look at those earrings, first off. Um, but second off, who will be ready to breed soon? Um, and I would say butter is ready. So is this wild boar, which is interesting. But we're going to start with butter. After, of course, we do this. And say hello to everyone here. Excellent. Um, we can take... S not that one. We'll take this. Just because there's more of it. Say hi to everyone. Okay. So butter is next into the breeder. And that should get us a gen 8. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Um, I think I left Esther in here. Nope. I have no idea where I've left her. Okay. She may very well be up in the processing center still. Let's go ahead and call her back over. I guess I didn't play the whistle for her. That's fine. Okay. All this space is pretty empty. Yeah, I've already got some rocks in here too. Okay. That's awesome. Let's go ahead, put in some avocados, put in some guanaco fur. Let's get that uh, corn back out because that doesn't belong in there. And that's doing the spinner. It can do the mill tomorrow. Let's check on the forest real quick. I don't think anything's going to be growing. Nope. Cool. Lots of snow everywhere, which is interesting. And then let's look into throwing a bit more stuff into here. Uh, we've got some ferment there. And somehow I still have more vinegar. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do a shipping bin run. Perfect. And then, where are we going to head next? Well, we are going to head up to the forest for a spot of fishing. And when I say a spot, I honestly mean a lot. So, spot of fishing with some roasted fish and some oxygala. Uh, we are wearing some pretty decent stuff here. I don't think I've got anything better. That's fish spawn and catching. Uh, let's see here. Growth speed on plants. More fish rarity and fish spawn. I think that's more important to us than the catching. Honestly. Yeah. So we do have some decent catching. We have quite a bit of rarity and we have a little bit of spawn. That works. So the very first thing we're going to do is pull out our harpoon. Also, while we're at it, um, tool wise, I don't use a milker anymore. Like ever. So let's put the milker over there. And you know what? I could change the hand axe for the shears because I don't use those either. There we go. Okay. And then we will go ahead and we will change to the harpoon. That's not a harpoon. And then we will eat this. And we will eat this. And we're going to try and find ourselves a new fish. I also probably should have checked our fishing journal first, but that's okay. This is new, though. I'll take whatever this is. Oh, cool. That's the one I had on my list. So we had not caught that before. Now, taking a look at the list, we're looking for in order of things that spawn in the winter time. Um, so, do, do, do. we could find this one here, and this one is anywhere but where we are. Um, let's see if we can find any more forest lake winter ones. Um, this one, I think we can find. So let's go looking for this one. Since we're here anyway. It's more of the same. That's more of the same. Could be this one. Well, this is new, whatever it is. All right, 
that's the other one we were looking for. So that's two of them now. Um, still looking here. Right. Um, we could go for this guy. Or at least we could hope for this one. We'll see. But yeah, let's try it. We may also just find more of what we're accustomed to. I don't want nothing running away though. That's going to be vitally important. And we can only go to about seven. is a bit of a trick and a half, isn't it? That may be all that we're gonna get out of this round. But we caught two new fish today. That's awesome. The one we're looking for is a 4B. But the real question becomes, are we going to find this mysterious 4B? And that's looking like it may be a little unlikely for us. bit of time left though it could appear it is unlikely but it could and we're just gonna keep on hoping in that case you know It is supposedly the same difficulty as the high one, which is one of the ones we caught today. After this next round of fishing, I'm gonna double check that I don't need to be like fishing in the rain or something stupid. But it doesn't seem that way. Okay. Bear with me just a sec, guys. Okay. So it is one of the rare five bees that we are looking for here. That is part of our problem. So that's a 4B, so that is not what we want, technically, but we will mark it anyway. So that's why we've been having such trouble. The first fish I went for was a 5B fish. And we've only got like an hour left that we can do this for. This is another 4B, this is not what we want is most unfortunate. There's only three fish on my screen. Come on. Thank you. Give me one more. I want one more try. Please. No? You're not going to give it to us? Not gonna give us fish number five? Oh, 
Well, then I want one of these nice ones. Okay. So that's good for now. Let's go and pay all the animals a visit. The wolves are here. Nobody's up here on the ridge, which means they're going to be down here in the mountains. There's our boars. Whoa! Very first one, very first day, very first boar. This right here is why we don't go straight for the Guanaco and we come through the forest still first. Now I have all the Ibex. I don't need any new Ibex. So in fact, this will be a faster path for me to get to the savannah. Let's do it. So we found a golden boar now. That's excellent. We need to run out to the savannah. We're gonna check the ostriches and the guanaco. And hopefully we should be finishing up the guanaco very soon, um, which is kind of exciting. As much as I think it's interesting that we do have the wild precursor to the llama, um, like, I, I want to get the bison going. And the chickens. And the horses. Like, there are so many more rares and legendaries for us to still find. At this rate, it's going to be year three before we get it taken care of. We are going to check the ostriches first so we don't use up all of our whistle points. I see nothing new. Okay. That's okay. And then our lovely Guanaco friends should be up here on this ridge. Okay. You were one of mine. You are not there yet. You are nowhere near there yet. You were one of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're not near there yet. And you're nowhere near there yet. Okay. So it's about even across the board. Darn it. So tomorrow we should finish all but one of our Guanaco tames. Theoretically, right? Unless we run into another rare legendary. But it seems unlikely that the developers would let multiple spawn in on a day. I refuse to look that up. <laughs> but I know there are specified days, so it only makes sense to do it that way. And then we really should do the press tonight. Since it's only 10.30, we're out of whistle points. We've already said hi to all the animals. We've already done some fishing today. Let's work on the brewery tonight.
And what'll probably happen is I'll probably pass out in the brewery and then bring you guys back. If I'm being completely honest, that's usually how this goes. I also am well aware of the stupid amount of fish in my inventory. It is taking up a good three slots, but that's okay. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab out a stupid amount of stuff. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but sure. Um, let's grab out a different one that I have a limited quanti quantity of then. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, and we just passed out. I almost got the whole shed done. I was pretty close. Um, but we did pass out. That's okay. That's going to bring us up to 899,000 Clan Prosperity. To which we contributed 5606 today. Go ahead and give her a save. And that is going to bring us up to 163,000 contribution. We made a lot of really cool things happen today. We have discovered the new rare, I think rare, um variant for the boar um we have discovered two new fish though we do have to continue working on whatever this is but we may catch some others in the meantime and very importantly we are almost finished collecting all of our guanaco and we had a new birth today as well yeah, we're just about done with the Guanaco. We need four. We have three that we will be able to finish in the next episode. For, with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of today's episode. If you like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But in text till next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. Don't forget to dance.